Hello everybody and welcome back to the wireless penetration testing section. Now in the previous videos I showed you how you can brute force the handshake with the Hashcat, uh, Hashcat tool and with the aircrack tool. We both use CPU and GPU in that process and we also saw how we can create some of our own word lists in order to uh, make our attack more possible to work. Now. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you is also a very important thing, which is how you can actually make your process of cracking even more faster than we did before. Now, you remember that we actually had only around 350 passwords per second on our Kali Linux machine with our CPU. And on my laptop, we had around 4000 passwords per second with the, G with the CPU. Now, the GPU was around 100,000 passwords per second, but we can even make that faster if we wanted to, like a lot faster. So, uh, open up your terminal. Uh, I am currently on the Kali Linux, but I will switch to my laptop when I need to show you something. But right now, what I want to do is actually find our handshake that we captured. It is in the handshake folder. As we can see, it is right here, scan01.cap. And we also have a passwords.txt file. Let me just see which password list is that. It is a password list that we created with the crunch, okay. Now, what I want to show you is basically how you can make a rainbow table out of your password list. Now, what is a rainbow table? Well, basically, rainbow tables are huge sets of pre-computed tables filled with hashed values that are pre-matched to possible plain text passwords. Now, it allows us to crack the passwords even faster. Uh, basically, it allows hackers to reverse the hashing function and to determine what the plain text password might be. So, uh, let us let me show you how we can actually create a rainbow table. It can take some time, so I will find on GitHub a password list that isn't larger than 100,000 passwords per second, so this doesn't take a long to create. Let me just open up my Firefox and I will basically just search GitHub password list. And let's see how many, and let's see what we can actually find on GitHub. Maybe we can find a good password list that we can use for this. You can use any password list you want. If you want to, for example, you can use the, uh, the rocku.txt password list, uh, basically it can be any password list you want, but it depends, the larger the password, the more time it will take to create a rainbow table. So let me just find right here, password list. Let's go with the 100,000. Let's wait for this to open up. Then we will git clone this site. It has a hundred thousand passwords, so let us just clone this. Copy. Then go to our terminal in our handshake folder and type git clone and paste the file. So now that we are downloading this, it says fatal repository not found. Well, that's unfortunate. But there is another thing that we can do. We can go to the raw section right here. And it should load up the page with basically all of the passwords. And we will just select all of them. Just my Firefox is currently a little bit slow. We could have used a smaller password list if we wanted to. And basically we will if this doesn't want to copy itself. But there really isn't no point in making a rainbow table out of a password list that isn't at least 1 million passwords large. Now I'm using 100,000 passwords so this doesn't take too long to make. Let me see what is happening with this at the moment. It is loading something, not really sure what is it loading. You know what, it basically, all, okay it finished, so let us copy all of the passwords right here and let me nano pass.txt 
and I will basically paste all of the passwords that I just copied. Now since this is a virtual machine this will probably lag out a little bit but as soon as it finishes we will be able to continue working with it. Well never mind that did lag out I will just use a password list that I already have right here. So or let me just create a new one with crunch that has eight uh, characters at least and let's paste it into uh, file.txt for, for example. Now since this is one terabyte large I will not really uh, paste the entire password list I will basically control C uh, soon enough so let me just control C right now and basically in the file.txt we should have some passwords at least I believe there is around million passwords right here which is more than enough I will show you how you can create the rainbow table now with that password so let me just delete the ones we don't need so pass.txt.save and we don't need passwords.txt and let us actually rename the file.txt into passwords.txt so you don't actually get confused right here. So these are the only two things we need a password list and the .cap file that we uh, caught the handshake with. So the tool that we will use is called Aerolib. Let's just type Aerolib minus minus help in order to see our available options. Now as we can see right here there are a few options. Uh, one is the SQL, the clean, the batch, verify stats. We will use most of them so since we need to import the password list and we also need to import the ESSID which is just the name of our access point. Now uh, in order to import the ESSID you basically need to create a simple text file so you just name it nano ESSID.txt and what you need to do right now is basically just search your wireless access point and see what the name of it is. Uh, for my so for my access point it is basically this one so I will just paste the name of my wireless access point in this file. Now I control O enter and then control C or pardon me control X to exit and you can see that in this folder in this file I only have the name of my wireless access point. Now that you made this we can start using the arrow lib.ng tool. So First thing we need to do right here is basically uh, create the rainbow table itself and import the ESSID in it. Now how we do that? We do that with aerolib minus ng. Now after that you specify the name of your rainbow table. You can name it anything you want. I will just name it rainbow table or let's just do all smaller letters. And then you want to minus minus import and then import SSID and uh, basically after this you need to specify the name of our files which is only the ESSID. So just type here import ESSID and then the name of the file which is ESSID.txt. Now once you do that you can click here enter and you can see it will finish relatively fast since we only imported one word. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is import the password list. Now we import the password list with the similar command so type here aerolimb minus ng then you specify the name of your rainbow table whatever you named it then you specify minus minus or dash dash import pass wd and after the pass wd you need to specify the password list that you are using in my case that is the pass.txt so once you do that just click here enter and it will read all of the passwords from the file and it will import them into the rainbow table. Now we can see right here how many passwords are there in my file. So over a million already. Hopefully it will stop soon. I should have controlled C it a little bit earlier. So we do not have this much passwords but it doesn't matter. This shouldn't take too long to uh, load. The process that will take too long if you use a huge password list will be the next command which is the minus minus or dash dash batch since it will import and it will hash all of the private share keys or all of the passwords from plain text to hashed versions so it can compare them faster once you run the attack. 
Now here we can see that we are running over five, that we are reading over five million passwords, but that those are just passwords in the plain text. After that, it will compute those passwords into hashed version of those passwords. So let us see how long this will take. This is already over seven million soon. Now it will also go the the entire process of this will also go a lot faster if you have a stronger virtual machine or basically if you are running this on your main PC. Uh, and I remember on my laptop I did the same thing a few minutes ago with the rainbow and with the rocky.txt password list which is around 14 million and this process right here of importing the password list took a lot took a lot shorter time to process these lines that it reads than these 10 million passwords right here. But I will just wait for this to finish and I will get back to you as soon as it does. Well, this took a lot longer. I basically control C this since it went over 20 million passwords. There is no need to wait for that. And you can see right now, if your importing of password list is finished, that you will have a file called rainbow table, if you name it like that. Now, what you can do with this, basically, you can check out the stat, which is the option in Aerolib. So just type here rainbow table minus minus stat. And here we can see there are one and after it finishes here we can see that there is one SSID which we specified with this command right here once we imported the name of our uh, wireless access point and it, there are also 20 million passwords in the database. Now 0 out of 20 million possible combinations have been computed. So what we want to do right now is run the command called minus minus batch. Now that command will compute these passwords and there will no longer be zero out of 20 million passable combinations computed. So how do we do that? Well, we run the aerolib minus ng, so, and then minus minus batch. So once you do that, uh, basically, or let me just add the name of the rainbow table on, or it won't work. So name your rainbow table, then minus minus batch. And when you let this run, this process will take the longest out of all of the previous processes since uh, it basically has to compute all the passwords in this rainbow table. Now, I will not wait for it to compute 20 million passwords since that would take around a week time. I will basically let it compute a few passwords or basically first 10 or 20,000 or something like that. And then after that, I will control C this program and we will run the attack uh, with our aircrack program. If you use the smaller password list, you can wait for it to finish computing it. Uh, basically, the, fa the process of computing is dependent on your basically hardware. So as you can see right here, it computes around 10,000 passwords in 45 seconds, while as on my laptop, it computes around, I believe, 100,000 passwords in 45 seconds. So, but once again, this is a virtual machine, so that is why it is so slow. If you use a smaller password list, it shouldn't take that much to finish. But after this, once it computes, computes around 20,000 passwords, you will see how much faster the aircrack program will run compared to the previous attack that we did where it only were able to guess around 350 keys per second. While as right now, I believe that number will grow over two or 3,000. Now we will see. Let me just, it might even be larger than that. So let us just control C this program once it hits 25,000. So control C right now, let us just, not really sure why I'm not able to control C this. Okay, here it is, uh, we closed it. And now if we run the stats right here, it will say that 25,000 out of 20 million possible combinations have been computed, which is around 0.12%. So let us just, let me just show you that you can also what or what you can also do with this uh, tool, which is aerolib minus ng. You can basically make 
arrow lib, you can basically make the SQL queries to the database or to your rainbow table with the minus minus SQL and then you specify the SQL query you want to use. Now we covered SQL basics so you should know what for example this means. So select star from ESSID. Basically it will select the ESSID that we imported into our rainbow table. You can also select all from passwords but I believe that this will take a lot longer since there are a lot of passwords in our password list. Now I will control C this if it could. Okay there it is. You can also select all private shared keys or, pri or basically your encrypted versions of the password with this command. So right now you can see that there are a bunch of random characters being printed out right here. Uh, those are basically your pre-computed uh, passwords that it hashed in the process where we run minus minus batch. Now after we do that we only want to run one more command before we start the attack which is aerolib minus ng then the name of our rainbow table and then minus minus clean all. Now this will clean all of the unnecessary things in our rainbow table and possibly make it work even faster. So I'm not really sure how long this could take, shouldn't take too long, but we will see.